Hey, how's it going everyone? And good evening from Ohio. We're in Fairfield, Ohio, going to the Jungle Gyms Supermarket, which is this wild supermarket full of animatronics and weird stuff. As you can see out here at the entrance, there's a waterfall and elephants. I'm the legend, joined by Molly. And uh, these look like stadium seats, like old baseball stadiums or football stadiums or something. And I'm guessing with, I think there's three different colors. There are. There are probably three different stadiums, I imagine probably all in this region. Now let's go and check out the fun. I'm, I'm excited for this. So I think Kenny would like this. As you go in, there's big uh, red, yellow, and green things to start your carts. So we are now inside. The store is gigantic and looks like it's filled with neat stuff. <laughs> and a bank. So I was really excited to come here because there, this store is full of animatronics. Molly, if you could help me out and push the button here for the comedy team of Corn and Butter. Look at that family. Aren't they cute? It makes me homesick. You know I came from a family of four. And there we go. I guess they just told her, can we go one more? Come on in, folks. Bring your recipes. We have everything you need. Yeah, we have everything you need. Even great butter. Oh, I lose more family members that way. <laughs> also, there's um, the scarecrow okay. is just sort of hanging out. It's chilling. So this is pretty interesting, Molly. This was the original building in 1974. Oh, it's now... very small compared to what it is. Yes. Uh, there's also a very Johnny Bravo-esque character here. Not like an animatronic, but it's a dude. Way up here. This is interesting. It's a, a, a Campbell's soup can. Unfortunately, he doesn't move a lot. I imagine he probably swung at one point. Yeah. His eyebrows move. Yeah. And his nose? Yeah, I think his nose, like, rotates. Quite the character, though. All the tomatoes are so this is like the meat area. There's a truck on top. And then like a wizard. Interesting. Molly, this one makes a lot of sense. There's uh, there's penguins in the frozen food section. Yeah, definitely. So we have to go back to the penguins as the penguins are carrying merchandise like chili and spaghetti. Or he's having some ice cream. So I don't think these guys are working today. But look at this cereal band of the Honey Nuts Cheerios B, the Trix Rabbit, and the Lucky Charms Leprechaun. Also, also they're, they're standing on a full-size boat. I'm, I'm bummed they're not singing songs about, I imagine, cereal. As you can probably tell, we're in the seafood section, which has a whole like nautical village, complete with Popeye and fish you can probably eat and buy to eat. Also in the seafood area is um, some giant caliber guns and anchors. Molly, we have found a button. Let's see what this one does. We're near the soda section. Oh, look at that. The King of Pop. Then, I guess the lights kind of dance to the music. Also, look at this. I guess you could get a, a international guide map, like you were at a theme park. And then they have all sorts of crazy, crazy sodas. Like... Fudge brownie cookie dough. So Molly, you picked up one of the maps mm -hmm. and it's just for the international department showing you like where all the nationalities of foods are. Fascinating. It is. You have uh, Pedro over here. Well, I'm guessing probably talked at one point. His eyes just turned on and now he's singing a song. This one makes a lot of sense. Above the hot sauce is a fire truck. So guys, I gotta be honest. I have no idea what this is. Big Bertha's with some sort of counter on it. 
don't know. You got me. So here is Robin Hood, who's a full, like, human size animatronic on the second level. I'm guessing this is, like, British food? Now, these are two things I really enjoy, both chocolate and gravy, but I, I'm not sure I would want them together. Uh, this is Crazy Charlie's Live Harvest. So I'm guessing Crazy Charlie's is like a fish farm. Also, you get a uh, second level view of the store. It is a very, very large store. I also like the elephant in the back. Like it's mostly a painting, but then the tusks are 3D. So we found the bacon area, but not where you would buy bacon. This is all like bacon flavored stuff, like chipotle sauce or hot sauce, wing sauce, dips, bacon candy. Bacon beans, bacon A's. Interesting. And if you really like bacon, you can get a souvenir bacon pennant to take home. Love the display for the Haribo gummy bears, as it's got a bear. And this area over here is like a, a small village for Greece and Scandinavia and Spain. This is quite the place. More animatronic type characters here in the pet area. Unfortunately, these don't appear to be functioning. This is a product I had no idea existed. The Bob Ross Positive Energy Drink. So you can buy all sorts of like healthy stuff and croutons over here, but at the bottom is this bear it looks like he might have been like an old kitty ride vehicle. They've got a, a horse and buggy above the Amish farm area. And then I like the, uh, I guess the cake section for graduating weddings or birthdays has a giant cake. That is neat. Here you have a lion, the king of the jungle, playing guitar as the king, Elvis Presley. He is functioning and functioning very well as an animatronic. I like this one. This is neat. It is a jelly bean mosaic of Jungle Gym presented by the Jelly Belly Corporation. And there, there's a video. Of him getting it. Yes. Fascinating. As a big theme park dork over here in the candy section, they do have bumper cars from the uh, the old closed down Coney Island that used to be here in town. Here we are at the big cheese, which is this giant cheese that weighs 762 pounds. But they've also got like cheese sculptures in there. Yeah, look at the, the cheese Eiffel Tower. Kind of odd positioning in this one, and the wine area is uh, Marilyn Monroe. So this is kind of fascinating. These porta potties lead to the bathrooms, like the actual bathrooms, and they're in between is a souvenir photo opportunity. Molly did not know she was signing up for this when she agreed to go to a weird grocery store in the Cincinnati area. So one cool thing about the restaurant, they have an old bar. You can get pints of beer for like four bucks. Also, uh, you can get beer to go. And I think they do beer samplings normally as well. So we're filming this in August of 2020 and it looks like they are getting ready for a big expansion here at Jungle Gyms with a lot of construction equipment and I guess new buildings. So we are at Jungle Gyms after dark and uh, they actually have a monorail here. I'm not sure if this is the one that used to be at Kings Island. 
I know one of the stores does have the old Kings Island monorail. You can see they've got three trains for it, which is actually pretty impressive. And I guess this is a uh, like a convention center kind of thing. And then you can see the monorail takes people from the convention center over to the store. Again, no idea if this is still something that's in operation or not, but it is pretty neat.